On July 7, 1986, a phenom to the sprinting community entered the world. To what many would consider to be a disadvantage, Jerome Singleton was born without a fibula in his right leg. This may be a setback for many children, but had no hindrance on Jerome's future. Throughout his childhood, Jerome showed that he could compete with anyone. In high school, he was a tri-sport athlete competing in track, football, and JV basketball. To the surprise of many, Jerome was not simply considered a motivational teammate. He found great success on the field and court, and was even considered to be one of the top 100 football players in South Carolina his senior year. Jerome chose to attend Morehouse College, placing academics over his interest in athletics. Here, he would double major in math and applied physics. During research for a class, Jerome stumbled over information regarding two-time Paralympic track champion Marlon Shirley, who would prove to stand as a role model for Jerome throughout his future. This research allowed the budding track star to see that he too could perform at an Olympic level. Taking part in a dual degree engineering program, Jerome transferred to the University of Michigan at the start of his senior year. Prior to his arrival, Singleton caught the eye of Michigan track coach Fred LaPlante, and soon the two would form a successful partnership. Considering that Jerome was LaPlante's first Paralympic athlete, LaPlante stated that he had some initial reservations about training an athlete with such unique circumstances. Even though the transfer left Jerome without any athletic eligibility, he trains alongside his teammates in pursuit of future world titles. He strongly believes that he and other Paralympic athletes should be able to compete equally against their able-bodied counterparts. Since 2007, Jerome has reined in a number of individual accolades. His first successes came after making the U.S. Paralympic squad in 2007 and competing in the Paralympic Pan American Games in Rio de Janeiro, bringing home a bronze medal in the 100-meter T44 and a silver in the 200-meter T44. Singleton seemed well on his way to leaving a lasting impression on the track community. His next accomplishments came by way of the 2008 Paralympic Games in Beijing, China, where he would win his first gold in the 4 by 100 meter. In an extremely close race with his longtime rival, South African Oscar Pistorius, he also won a silver medal in the 100 meter, finishing just three hundredths of a second behind Pistorius. Although Jerome reports that he considers his competition with Oscar to be a friendly rivalry, he despises losing, even if it is a close race. In upcoming events, Jerome is looking to once again run against his top rival, but this time, he hopes to come out on top. After a few preparatory meets, including the pen relays, the two will meet at the World Championships and the 2012 London Olympics. Graduating from Michigan in December 2010, Jerome hopes that his track success can change the perceptions about Paralympic athletes for those with disabilities and bridge the gap between able-bodied Paralympic competition.